Welcome to Ukurima TV. Today we continue with our episodes on urban farming and we are going to look at aquaponic farming. The first question that we ask ourselves is on what is this aquaponic farming? Then after understanding the aquaponic farming, uh, we go to the next step. We look at why the aquaponic farm? Why should you have the aquaponic farm? Then after that we look at the limitation of uh, this aquaponic farming. Then after that we look at the science behind this aquaponic farm. We understand it from the basic principles. Then maybe after that we can look at uh, some of the materials that you are going to use to make your own aquaponic uh, system at home. So I'm going to start with uh, what is this aquaponic farm? Aquaponic comes from two type of farm. The first type of farm is aquaculture. Aquaculture, we are talking about rearing of aquatic animals. And for this case, we will be giving an example of fish. Then the other type of farming is a farming known as hydroponic. Remember in our previous episode we looked at hydroponic and we said that hydroponic is uh, doing farming without using soil. So aquaponic farming is all about uh, doing fish farming if I use that example and also you do plants on this soilless uh, system that is the hydroponic the next question that we are going to ask ourselves is on why should we have or why should we employ the aquaponic farming method so for this case reason number one is that remember you have talked about uh, doing two types of farming you are doing aquaculture that is the fish farming and you are also doing hydroponic that is the plant farming. So you harvest fish and you also harvest plants. So you have a bountiful harvest of two types of harvest. Then the next reason is that this system is environmental friendly. When I'm talking about environmental friendly, I'm, I'm talking about, remember, when you are using this system, as you see in the science behind aquaponic, you not be using any inorganic uh, uh, farming methods. You thoroughly the plant will depend on the uh, the fish waste, and then the plant will purify that uh, water from the fish fish pond, and the water goes back to the uh, fish pond. So for this case, we are saying that this system is environmental friendly you not do any soil pollution you not do any water pollution or you not do any air pollution then the next reason why this aquaponic is very important is that you'll be getting a higher production compared to the other normal uh, farming methods if you compare the farming, the same farming, uh, you do the same farming in the soil and also you do the same farming using this method. For this method, you'll get higher uh, harvest, a higher harvest compared to the soil method. So that is another reason why you should employ uh, this method. Then the other reason why you should employ this method is that for this system, we use less amount of water. We are saying that you can be able to save 90% of water that you use from other methods. So if for example you are using uh, uh, 100 liters of water in the soil farm, for this case you can be able to save 90 liters of water compared to the soil methods. So in this reason we are saying that this system can be used in arid areas. So in arid areas, they can do quality farming without worrying about uh, uh, the rainfall or without depending on the rainfall and without depending on the soil. So 
Uh, the other reason why you should employ this farming, we can say that a lot of research is still being done currently on this system. So you'll be have will will have a more modernized system in the future on this aquaponic farming method. So that is on the reason why you should adopt this method. One of the disadvantages of this method is that the initial cost of uh, setting up this system is a little bit high. So the initial cost of setting it uh, will not will be higher than the normal uh, than compared to other methods. The next part that you are going to look at is the science behind aquaponic farming. And for this case, you are saying that uh, we are dealing with two types of farming the aquaculture and the hydroponic. If I give you an example, the fish are in the pod. So once you feed the fish, they normally release ammonia as a waste. So this waste or this waste is normally pumped to the growing bed and the ammonia that is released by the fish is acted upon by bacteria known as nitrosomonas to give nitrate as the end product. Then, in the, still in the same uh, growing bed, the nitrate, as you can see from the screen, is normally acted upon by bacteria known as nitrobacter to convert this uh, nitrate to nitrate. So this nitrate is the one that is important to the plant. So the plant consumes this uh, nitrate. And then we have now our plant growing vigorously. Then the water after the plant consumes the nitrate, the water is now purified by the plants and the water goes back to the fish pond. And we have that cycle continuing. The fish excrete, it goes to the, uh, the water is pumped to the uh, growing bed. The nitrosomonas bacteria act on the uh, ammonia to form a uh, nitrate. The nitrate is acted upon by uh, nitrobacter bacteria. It is converted to nitrate. The nitrate is what plant takes and then we have the water being purified and it goes back to the pond. So that is the science behind this aquaponic. Then the last part, we are going to simply look at some of the materials that you can use to make your own uh, aquaponic system at home. One is uh, something we, we just need uh, to act as a fish pot so you can choose a metallic container or a plastic container. Then you also need a growing bed, you need a growing media, you need plant, you need fish to use in the system. You also need the, uh, the tubes or the pipes that you connect. You also need the pump and uh, you also need uh, the biofilters that will filter the, uh, the water from the fish pond. And you also need uh, the gravel. So our next part, we will look at how can you be able to make this system using these materials. We can be able to make it ourselves. We'll look at the step by step. So don't miss in the coming episode.